up YouTube, this is Supercharged iOS, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to swap your external SD card with your internal SD card so that you can use your SD chip as your device's internal memory. Now this will work for any Android device. All of them are pretty much the same. All you have to do is find out the codes and switch them just as I'm going to show you. Alright, let's get into it. All right, now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you my settings, storage, and you see right here NAND flash. That's the internal SD card, the internal memory of the device. Now, as you can see right here, it says 5.67 gigabytes. We're going to change that and we're going to put this where this is. All right, now this is only going to work if your device is rooted. So if your device isn't rooted, go ahead and do that, and then you'll be able to do this. What you need to do after your device is rooted is go to the Google Play Store and download this free application called Root External to Internal. But all you have to do is search for external, the number two, and internal, and you'll find this application. Go ahead and download it and you'll be ready to move on. All right, so now you want to launch external to internal, which is the application that you just downloaded. Now you want to make sure when you launch it that this is checked. It will be checked by default when you install the application, but just double check and make sure that there's a check mark next to at boot. And you want to go over here to the top right hand corner to settings, click on that. And when this opens up, make sure that send rescan is checked and make sure use per default is checked. Then you want to go down to right here, the external SD card device access. Click on that one and get familiar with these last four characters right here. This from the VOLD from the slash on right here. This is the code numbers of the SD, extern, my external SD card on this Android device. Now they're different on different devices, but just keep this number in mind for one second. And I'll explain in just a second as we scroll down. You click right here on view the different devices and when this other stuff opens up scroll all the way down and you see here's the number now this is the code to my external device X SD card that you just seen now right here is what the what the internal memory is 31 core 9 now what you need to do is you need to figure out based on whatever is in there right here the external SD card device Yours is not going to be the external one. Yours is going to say the, the number of the internal memory, which would be 31 colon 9. But you need to change that to the other number with the colon. So scroll down, and at the bottom of the list, you'll find these two with the colon. Whichever one is which, you're going to need to switch them. So if yours says 31 from the slash on, 31 colon 9, you need to change it to 179 colon 1. So scroll up. Go to this one, the external SD card device access, and just highlight that and backspace it. And then I'm just going to change it to what it was, 179 colon 1. But yours, you'll have to obviously find out whichever one yours is out of the two and just change it like that. And now we'll go back one step and you want to click right here on external internal and this will flip it. Once you click on that, you can hit your home, and we'll go over to our settings and make sure it worked. Go to storage, scroll down, and as you can see, our NAND flash is now 29.32 gigs, which is the same as our external SD card. All right, now what we did was we tricked the device into thinking that the internal SD card is really the external SD card. So whenever you download apps or whatever, you, if this number right here is always going to stay the same. So it's only going to change this number, your NAND flash. All right, so, and this is another heads up that if you turn your device off or back on, or if you're on an Android mini PC like I am and you unplug your device, plug it back in, anytime your device reboots, you're going to need to go back into external to internal. Just go to settings and scroll down 
take a look at this number and just familiarize yourself with it. Make sure that it's the number that you put in there. Check real quick. It should always be once you change it. But after your device reboots, just come back and go to this one, the external SD card device access, and make sure it's the same number that you changed it to. Scroll down, and then you want to select this, view different devices. Scroll down and make sure right here, this is the number for my external one, and this is my internal one. So make sure that it's still switched, and then you want to go hit the back button and go back one page, and all you have to do is click on this. But if after you reboot, if you're confident and you don't want to check, all you have to do is launch this app and click right here, and then go back and check, and your internal and external memory should be flipped once again. All right, this is Supercharged iOS. This is a quick video showing you guys how to swap your internal SD card with your external SD card on any Android device. I hope this video was pretty helpful. Please like my page at facebook.com forward slash charged iOS. Also follow me at twitter.com forward slash charged iOS. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video. Peace.